Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Maria and I'm the girl behind the blog Sweet Life Housewife. Today I'm going to be reviewing the Cage Rockstead Sandals by Valentino and these are um, a 60mm size. So let's get started. Okay, so first I'm going to go ahead and let you know how we're going to review it. We're going to cover comfort, sizing, price, appearance, how to style, and how to maintain. Um, first of all, these are the shoes. And I just want to give you a kind of an up close. These are my notes. <laughs> um, it's a, uh, oh shoot, hi. Anyway, these are gorgeous. Um, I'm so in love with them. I want every color. Um, they come in, I got them, you can buy them at many, many different stores. But I got mine at the Valentino store here in Atlanta at Phipps Plaza. Um, they come, you know, with a dust bag, which is what this is. And it also comes with two pouches that I actually haven't opened up yet, but they have the spot here that you can keep them so you don't lose these things. You should keep the box. I'm going to be putting it kind of on the top of my closet, which I'm reorganizing. Stay tuned for that video. If you like these kinds of videos, please subscribe to my channel and give this video a thumbs up. Share it with your friends. So these are some extra studs that come with it. I'm hopefully I won't be needing those, but I think they just give you some extra in case and you can always have them on hand if you need them. And this is just a little how to care, I think, for them kind of look hard. So that's that little authenticity. And so I'm just going to keep these together and put them in that little pouch or kind of label so that I know where they are. God forbid I actually do need them. Okay, so we're going to start with comfort. These are extremely comfortable. Um, there's plenty of room for your feet to breathe so they don't feel too hot. They don't feel too high because it's only 60 mm, and they have you know they're they're very well made, so they actually are just really really comfortable. Um, the next thing I want to talk about is the sizing. Mine were um, true to size, and I tried the 60 um, millimeter height, and I also tried um, the higher sandal. So it was similar to this, but it had a higher heel. I ultimately chose this one because I figured I could wear this to museums. I could wear it, you know, walking around um, at parties and stuff more than I might want to be wearing a higher heel because I might, I might get tired of that a little bit faster. So these were, I'm a six and a half. These were a 36.5. And I will say in the Rockstead pumps, instead of a 36.5, I take a 37. I tried those on, um, but all of the sandals, the slides and everything, I was a uh, 36.5 or 6.5, but only in the Rockstead pumps I was a 7, so there you go. Um, the next thing I want to talk about is price. Obviously, they're a luxury shoe, they're expensive, but they're so worth it. Um, they do give you the extra studs, which I think is more of an insurance policy that you won't need them. I'm not, um, I've not heard a bunch of people talking about how they have to replace their studs and I've watched a ton of reviews, so um, I'm not. I'm gonna save them, but I think that I won't need them. Um, and also, um, because you're gonna wear them to so many different events, whether it's a lunch, a dinner, graduation, derby party, which I've worn them this past weekend for the derby party. So no matter what, you're gonna wear them a lot because they're such a wearable height, and they're so eye-catching that they elevate any look. So I think that. Um, the price per wear is actually so, or cost per wear, whatever you want to call it, is so low because of the amount of times you'll wear it that it'll beat out any probably other designer shoe. Um, even flats a lot of times are uncomfortable because this is a sandal. It's, you're going you're gonna to get a lot of wear out of it. Um, next is appearance. So uh, obviously, I think they're gorgeous. And I'm not alone. I've seen a lot of other people um, eyeing these and on their wish list and all of that kind of stuff. Um, favorites, etc. So they speak for themselves. They're gorgeous. Um, the color is called Pudra and it's a really pretty, um, if you can't really tell, it's like obviously it's like a beige tone, but it's kind of got a pink undertone, even a little purple undertone. The gold studs are amazing. They're so shiny and um, I try, you know, not to like smush them together, 
like when I will put them in the dust bag, um, cause I'm going to actually wear them to lunch next week. And so I'm going to have to pack them up to go to the penthouse next weekend. So I'm going to use this dust bag, but I'm also going to use a scarf. So it'll kind of protect them so that they don't scratch each other. Cause I just want them to maintain this fabulous, um, that is just gorgeous. So that's that. And then how to style. So how to style these is easy, but you could wear them with an outfit like I'm wearing right now, you know, just shorts. Um, I had this tucked in and I thought it was making me look weird and I feel like it still is. But anyway, um, I wore them with a really pretty dress. If I can insert a picture, I will, um, for the derby party. And I've worn them with cropped pants. You can wear them with capris. You can wear them with anything. You can wear them, you know, multitude of places as well. So they're very easy to wear. And to maintain them, how to maintain is my next point on my review. And they're very, I would say, easy. You know, they give you the dust bag. So obviously, keep them dust free will help maintain them. They give you the studs if you need to replace it. And another tip um, is once the sole, you know, mine's pretty new, so there's nothing going on there. But, you know, once they get a little bit more wear on them, um, I will resole them. And I've heard that it can make them more comfortable, which is not really an issue with a shoe like this, but um, because it adds a little extra padding for your foot. But um, it's more important, I think, in like a higher heel. Um, so I will, you know, definitely put that on um, once they have a little more wear, though, so that I don't burn through the shoe because I want to wear these for years. They're definitely a classic. So that's that. And then I wanted to also mention these water wipes. Um, another vlogger. The, um, YouTuber that I watch, Lux Mommy, recommended these for her designer handbags and shoe collection. And she recommended them to everybody else because she's tried and true. They're 99.9% .9 water and the rest is just a fruit extract. So she uses them on her kids and everything. And I'll use these on my chihuahua who is right here sleeping behind me. She likes to sit up close, snug, snug in as we say, snuggy, snuggy. Um, so anyway, these are gentle enough for babies. They're gentle enough for your baby Valentinos and your baby Chihuahua. Um, so I would definitely recommend those. I did use them like once I um, finished wearing them. They weren't really dirty, but I just kind of like wiped them down, um, you know, so that they would be fresh the next time that I wore them. And they were, and I'm going to continue to do that. Um, I don't really keep them in the dust bag. <laughs> Having said that, that's one thing you could do because I... You have, you know, the shelves, which I am going to be doing a closet tour, so you'll see what is what I have going on in there. But um, they kind of are covered, so they're not getting too dusty. If I noticed that they were getting dusty, I would obviously pop them in the dust bag. But I feel like they probably won't get as dusty just because of the setup between the shelves and my shoes. There's not a lot of room for dust to settle on them. So um, depending on your situation, you may or may not want to keep them in the dust bag. But... Anyway, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and share. I'll see you next time.